Good evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. I'm Mike Clef. Patrice Dayton has the evening off. It's a story we've been following. The Vincennes man accused of four arsons and an attempted fifth appeared in court today. This after police arrested 22-year-old James Beeman last month. Tonight, prosecutors are giving insight to some unanswered questions in the case. News 10's Eric Stidman has the story from our Southern Bureau. There is some new insight into a string of fires that burned buildings in Vincennes. 22-year-old James Beeman made his first court appearance Friday since his June arrest. The filing of formal charges is always a complicated matter because the requirement for the prosecutor is to review the evidence collected by the investigating team. Prosecutor Hal Johnston is reviewing Beeman's files and hopes to find an answer to one of the case's biggest questions. Why did Beeman do it? It seems from the investigation that we don't have a motive of money here. There's no evidence of any motive of revenge. So it may be simply that the motive was one of setting the fire for the sake of setting the fires. Beeman admitted to fire investigators he burned at least four buildings in Vincennes. He also admitted to trying to burn a fifth. Another question hanging in the balance, did he falsely claim he started the fires? The investigators asked detailed questions, open-ended questions, that only the person who had actually done this would have known. While Johnston is quick to point out a medical evaluation could shed light on this case, he says it's too early to use a term like pyromaniac even if terms like revenge and insurance money don't fit the bill. I, I fully anticipate um, defense attorneys asking for some type of evaluation to try to find out a little more about uh, the nature of this uh, gentleman and, and uh, what's what's driving him. Regardless of how Beeman's case continues, several agencies agree this will be one of Knox County's biggest criminal cases of 2014. In Vincennes, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. Beeman has a trial date set for October. News 10 will continue to follow this case as it moves forward.